Okay, so this is the 2014 Mac Pro. And uh, let's start, obviously we connect that up. Wi-Fi is switched off. We must never switch that on again. Um, the wire that comes out of this here is a Thunderbolt and it goes into there as the Thunderbolt lead. Um, the wire that comes out of this monitor here is a big chunky lead and one of the things go into here and that gets plugged in that's the power supply for the second monitor and then it's got a thunderbolt lead which goes into the back of the um the tub and that's all you need to worry about with that i mean it's got other leads coming but we're not bothering with those um just for the ease of use this track mouse is a usb goes into the back of the usb this keyboard is a usb that goes into the back of the tub and then this hard drive here uh it's got a, a big white lead oh it's, it, it's a thunderbolt lead as well and that goes in and then you've got this power supply here for the um G-Raid Thunderbolt, okay? Uh, and that's it. Um, we'll do a little test. Um, open that up. And we've got Andy Song's 220, loads of them. Open this up. And we've got Andy Song's 222. Um, we're going to load up to something that I did yesterday. Um, we'll just load this up. Lovely day. Oh, flaming egg. Um, that's iTunes. Okay, we can. Well, it's, it's nice to move. that that works. Um, close that down. Date, and let's load this up because obviously there's no interface connected. We'll look at the interface in a minute. So I'm just loading up Logic. This has not been updated since 2021 and we're not gonna update this so that it works with everything in the safe. All right, forget the interface at the moment. Let's load that up. Here is another drive. This has got the older saves and that's very important as well. And this has all been backed up onto hard disk 79, 77 and 45. Okay, so already Sonics has come up. It doesn't want to load up because there's no Wi-Fi. But I think that's just one one thing that's not working without the Wi-Fi. So that's fair enough. Let's see if it works. So Ed, I should be able to burn off stems from this without, and I don't even need the audio interface, do I? Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, so, I mean, basically... You can take it home and have it at home. Yeah. So here we have the UFX, and here we have the wires. So we have... a Thunderbolt lead. We've got a... Um, a optical lead which goes into okay continuing on because Matt will probably use those cables you see to take out when he's redoing everything isn't he? Who knows? is he doing the whole job or is he doing a stage one job I don't remember now well no I, he didn't say 
but you can tell by looking at the ordering. That's probably doing the whole job. Isn't it? Well, I said you can do the whole job. Okay. There's a lot of cabling. Yeah. Uh, did he buy a lot of cables? All right, well, there you it go. It looked like a lot of cabling to me. Yeah. Okay, so he's probably doing the whole job. There you go. So that's it. So I've connected the UFX and it's very simple. It's just the USB in the back and that connects to a USB here. Fine. And I'm going to set, connect some headphones into here and I should be able to hear everything in, in glorious stereo. Here we go. Okay, so that's working through the headphones. So it's the full setup now. And we've lost the Oxford in, inflator because we haven't got the Wi-Fi on. I could put the Wi-Fi on and we can get that working as well, but I'm not gonna bother for the moment. Okay, so there you go.